Hello everyone, I am Desolating Hexagons, back with some more Just Detective 3. Daria, why are you still being so problem? About half of the last episode was just taken up by Daria refusing to cross a bridge, and it seems that's carrying on now. No more of this! I can't... walk... any... more... What, did you get got by one of the parrots that live in these click-clock wood-looking holes? Inspector, are you okay? Oh, Mackenzie, what, what do you mean? Of course, I, of course I'm okay. Why wouldn't I be okay? A anyway, this is strange. Shouldn't we have run into the Cornstalker by now? He's probably higher up, like, you know, at the plaza at the top. You think so, Mackenzie? Why would you say that? We've already climbed up so high, how much higher could he be? The festival decorations are at the top. I think he's there too. The top? No way, it's too high. This is impossible. I'm tired, I can't climb anymore, and I'm scared. I, uh, um, this, this, this is a problem. But, uh... You're right, we have to press on, don't we? Yeah. But hurry, Mackenzie, we have to take back everyone's hopes and dreams. I, I took a little rest, so I'm ready to charge ahead. She says moving backwards. Rally ho! Rally ho? Well, first of all, can we feel the holes? Technically, yes. Practically, no. Why are you down there? A gap in the path. What do we do now? Huh? Jump? Well, yeah, that would have worked with the bridge at the bottom, but this seems a little bit more vertical. No way. Oh, Friday. Oh, man. Now this I gotta see. Be resolute and jump it. No way. What are you saying? Challenging the impossible is what being a man's all about. I'm a girl, though. Well, you were an honorary member of the society. Ah, fair enough. One point for you. In light of your quick wits, I'll help you out with this, girly. Yes, please do. Also, are you... What, like, what are you? Like, New York, New Jersey, like, some kind of cod Australian? Like, really, what is your voice now? Why now, girly? I said I was gonna help, but... You got the goods, right? The goods. You wanna get on the good side of a tough rat like me? It's only one thing it can be. Uh, Swiss cheese. Hey, looks good. Can't get enough of these holes. No! No! Bad Friday, I will spritz you with... I, I, well, I'm assuming a bottle of water. I don't know how rats feel about that. I as promised, I'll teach you how to cross over the gap. That he started as well. I forget how he was before the year-long hiatus. Now he he went New York, New Jersey. Now it's like offensively some sort of unholy mishmash of Australian, New Zealand, and South Africa in such a way that it's it, it, it's not one or the other or the other other. Yes. Look closely at this here giant tree. You see these five holes? Yeah. There's actually secret levers hidden in those holes. If you flip them in order, the bridge will form. What Minecraft trickery is this? These levers are pretty heavy. Someone like me can't pull them for you. All I can do is tell you the order. After that, it's all up to you, girly. All right, I got it. You ready? Watch closely. Okie do. Remember the correct order. Okay. One. Five, one, okay, so five, one, two, four, five, one, two, four, three. Okay. Yeah, touch the holes in the same order I just showed you. I'm assuming the first one didn't count. Five, one, two, four, and three. Why, why the tree be like this? I did it! Success! Which is also the name of one of the publishers of this game, I think. Good work, girly. It's too bad you're not a man. What? I can't tell what I'm supposed to take away from that statement. Like, is that casual misogyny? Or is that swing and a miss hitting on me? Ah, oh, come to think of it, you were a special member of the Tough Guys Club, weren't you? I totally forgot. Go ahead and forget. 
You should come to our meetups once in a while. Just tough it out, that's what it's all about. Well, see ya. Okay, bye bye. Anyway, Daria, the path exists. Hurry, Mackenzie, we have to take back everyone's hopes and dreams. Okay, I'll just go on ahead then. Haha, -ha, we made it. I knew you'd show up, Touch Detective. However, this time I will be victorious. You don't know that yet, and do not call me that. I'm sure you think that you've made it just in time. Unfortunately for you, it's too late to stop us, Touch Detective. You don't know that yet. And don't call me that! Wah ha 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 ha. Why don't I monologue for a bit? About my creation. The Star Festival Hope Plundering System Brackets Summer. Here we go. More monologuing. Step 1. I expose the wish papers to light focus with this hand mirror. Step 2. The residual thoughts contained in the wish papers are enhanced. Step 3. Via the psychic wave resonance phenomenon, the thoughts behind the writing are absorbed. Step 4. We drink a toast to our success. Of course, we will toast with juice, so it is appropriate for all ages. Wah ha ha ha! What do you think, Touch Detective? The science may be above you, but surely you see my genius. What was that last part? A disclaimer? I don't know if that... That is probably in the original Japanese because that's exactly the standard of writing I expect from these games. But if not, then kudos to Kekyaku for including that, that kind of humor. Oh, I see you're thinking about how I'm using the crystal, perhaps. I mean, now he mentions it, I am curious because where is it? Very well then, time for my monologue part two. Listen, well, touch detective, he said touch detective again. Thought absorption requires the psychic waves to resonate perfectly. Perfect resonance means only certain thoughts from any individual are possible to absorb, but I discovered that by energizing the psychic waves, I can absorb even imperfectly synchronized thoughts. Now, handling such a vast amount of energy is impossible, in theory. But this crystal makes the impossible possible. Oh, so it's Kaito Bomota. I can extract from this crystal energy beyond theory, beyond reason. By placing the crystal here, we can steal hopes and dreams from not only wish papers, but from all people. With this, the hopes and dreams of the entire world will vanish. When I pull off such an enormous and difficult heist, my name will be carved into history books. I'll be number one thief in the world. The glory of a great Thief 2014 contest will be all that. Never. You say that, but you can't stop me. Being a man means if you say I can't, I'll want to do it even more. <laughs> Completely lost the accent there, but whatever. Yes, that's exactly what a man is. Wah ha ha ha. Quite a pair. Hold it right there! She's finally here! <sighs> Ally of Justice! A champion of love! Inspector Daria has arrived! I won't let you do this! I'll catch you today! You're all mine! Behind you. The Doctor? How? I was investigating what was wrong with everyone in town. How long do you plan to keep this up? I have your hope, why can you move? I'm a doctor. I have ways to deal with everything, even this. Well, not good, not good. It seems your methods haven't worked perfectly. It's enough to correct your mistake. Stop this, brother. You were once a skilled doctor. You could have been the best. Why? Why did you turn out this way? Wah ha 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 ha. Why don't I monologue for a bit? Why did I change into this twisted, warped character? Twisted and warped, and at least he's self-aware. Back in those days, I studied with all my heart to achieve my dreams. To become a doctor and help as many people as I could, I studied and even ignored my car eraser hobby. And I became a doctor. I don't mean to boast, but I was called one of the most foremost doctors in the world. Yes, that's right, without a doubt. 
you were the second most skilled doctor in all the world. Then who was number four? What? I'd take a wild guess, Mackenzie. However, even as number two in the world, there were lives I couldn't save. Who was number one? I'm curious. Clearly, it was Dover. Those who have hopes and dreams learn they won't come true and fall into despair. During my time as a doctor, I witnessed that pain firsthand. I realized something. People's worries and suffering are all caused by pursuing impossible dreams. That's why the world would be better off without hopes and dreams. Disappear. Hopes and dreams should all disappear. I... Uh, I'm losing strength. Oh, keep the corn stalker busy. So you use the energy amplification device. Yeah, I I'll I'll try. It seems you have a plan. I'll hold off my brother now. Hurry. Thank you. Okay, let's. Uh... Oh. Oh, hold up. I don't know what you plan to do, but I won't let it happen. I have to distract him somehow. Hey, why are you ignoring me? You're no help at all, Inspector. Well, here, ha have this. This isn't the time for that. Okay, well, I'm sorry. Wait, ah, what about this then? Your advance notice was late. Why are you bringing that up now? Curses, give me that back. Okay, fine. <laughs> How shall I dispose of this? Now's my chance. <laughs> that is a very touch detective solution and I'm living for it. Anyway. Yes, it's attached. Hey, what did you just do? Oh, nothing. I impossible, an energy amplifier. This little girl's done it again. Well. The former Prime Minister made it, but, you know. Is it gonna... Oh, oh. We all just got yolk. I hope I can make delicious cakes. I want bananas every day. I'm raising the price of bush paper next year. <laughs> I want to decorate a Christmas tree with wish paper. 10% increase in fortune accuracy. I'd like it if my soap operas had fewer commercial breaks near the end of each episode. Make winter come sooner, and make it snow a whole bunch! We need more paid holidays. Allow me to watch over the lady until she becomes a fine detective. Please return my brother's kindness so he becomes a doctor again. Oh, Whitaker, you're awake, and, uh, yep, Mackenzie's face right there, that was, that was an appropriate reaction. Well, yeah, I made it in time. I'd be ashamed as the world's number one detective if I wasn't part of such a big case. Before I knew it, he became number one. There's no need for thanks. I only did what is expected of me as a true hero. Quit, quit. I completely choked on that twice. Quit, quit. This is who saved me. Is this Mecha Fungi? What are you saying? I'm the one who was operating this Mecha Fungi Mark II. Go, Mecha Fungi Mark II. Vertical takeoff. Oof. Oof. Okay. But how? I wasn't merely sleeping up until now. I heard your entire conversation with Granny K. I wanted to be of use to you, but I just couldn't shake the Sandman. But I heard your voice telling me, win against this drowsiness. I never said, I definitely did not say that. But once I woke up, I rushed to your aid immediately. How could you move without hope? What are you talking about? I'm a millennial too, I never had need to begin with. Huh? I'm not a resident of this town. I never hung up wish paper for the Star Festival here. But you were asleep until now. Oh, that. I was up all night remodeling Mecha Fungi. That's why I was so tired. Thanks to Granny K's caffeinated gum, I'm back in perfect form. That was something else. They, they, they teased that in the fourth case. I like it. Okay, 
It's not all coming together like I hoped, but there are pieces coming together, and I love to see it. Go, Mecha Fungi Mark II, max speed flight! Anf, anf. Whoa! Oh? It's the Doctor. Somehow or other, you appear to be safe. You were the only one missing, Mackenzie, so I was worried. Everyone's safe. That's good. What? What? What's the world happened? Look, Inspector, it's Mackenzie. Wh uh, where? Where? Don't... Don't look down. <laughs> it's so high, I'm scared. Too late. <laughs> Touch detective. If possible, could you please help me? I barely avoided falling when my cape caught on a branch. Really? Mega Funky Mark 2, protect the peace of the world! Anf, anf. Vroom! I'm begging you, Touch Detective! We're friends, aren't we? <laughs> huh? Ah, help me! Ugh. Why am I the babysitter of these literal adults? Uh, everyone in town has recovered. Somehow, they all seem to remember the time they were asleep. It's a good thing I didn't play any pranks. Phew. <laughs> uh, since the wish papers all blew away, we're redoing the decorations. New wish papers were handed out. Uh, since I never used my last one, I have two wishes now. Lucky me! But what should I wish for? It's so hard to decide. Uh, what else? When the crystal exploded, everyone was blown away. Luckily, nobody was hurt. I was the one in the most danger, though, so... Uh... Oh, Funky too. We barely survived. But, yeah, you know. That scientist is turning over a new leaf with the doctor's help. Apparently, he regained the hope he lost long ago. I don't really get it, but... Case closed, I guess. But if he's reformed, can he tell me the identity of the Cornstalker? I'll ask him later. The Mecha Fungi that saved me is called Mecha Fungi Mark II. Whitaker says that, in addition to flying, it has many new secret features. 26 of them, in total. Is Whitaker actually amazing? I respect him a bit more now. And, uh, well, I guess that's about it. This case has, uh, it's been solved. Really? Really? So... I'm hoping that there's a last second twist here, because so far, case four has kind of been the only case in this game that's felt like a full length case. And this was setting up to be really interesting, but once again, we've done that thing of like, first act build up, jump straight to conclusion. Like, come on, three act structure, please. Really? No, that really is the end of the game. I am a little bit disappointed. What is this music? Okay, so there is... Whitaker's theme officially has lyrics. Okay, this is news to me. And uh, I would imagine that because of... Because of how the credits are programmed, it's probably not possible to translate them as part of the translation patch. So that's why they're in Japanese at the moment. But credit is still credit. But, uh, yeah. I'm really hoping that this does the same thing as the first game, where, like, you think the case is solved, and then halfway through the credits, it's like, oh, no, actually, you've still got more game to go, because... I feel like... This... was not as strong of a game as Touch Detective 2 and a half. And it, it sort of... I don't like saying that, because... I've waited years, almost a decade, to play this game. Like, even before I started Let's Play, you know, I, I was already a fan of the series, and this game was released in 2014. And I thought I would go my entire life without playing it, and then obviously Kekyoku came along with this fantastic translation patch, so I'm glad that I was able to experience it. I'm just disappointed that it feels like a step back from the escalation of the second game. But, I don't know to what extent that's rose-tinted glasses on my part. Because... 
I, f I, I do feel like each case, apart from maybe case four, was shorter and lower stakes. It felt like every single case was missing about half of its own story. And I was really hoping that the final case would not only be weird, but also do something that ties all of these disparate threads together. Because... Okay, the ladies have taste. Uh, I, I like that there are, there are some things that are set up in early cases, like Mecha Fungi and uh, the Crystal, and you know, stuff like that, and, and the, even the caffeinated gum, that had payoff in case 5. But we really are just not getting any context for the Banana Man in case 1, are we? Like, I really want there to be some grand epic conclusion, bearing in mind this is the last major case of the entire franchise. Like, there does exist, in Japan only, a collection of all three main series Touch Detective games that was remastered on the Switch. And for this to be the note it goes out on, I'm honestly a little bit disappointed. Like, yeah, that that's it. That was disappointingly short. Obviously we're not done with this series though. In the next episode we'll come back and uh, go through the, the bonus episode and at this point clear out the... Uh, the investigation report, which we're, we're fairly close to that at the moment. So what are we missing? Uh, that's This is probably getting every fungarine. This is probably getting 200 fun coins. And then everything else is going to be stuff in the bonus episode, I guess. And as for the touch diary, oh, what, uh, yeah, two of the things in the investigation report are complete the investigation report and complete the touch diary. That's always the way with this. So we're missing six uh, touch diary items as well. So hopefully, we'll find that in the next episode, and then I'm going to have to do something with the fungarines, I'm very much aware. And, uh, well, one thing that I'm wondering. In in this, which I've referred to several times, because Kekaku going above and beyond translating this for us as well, because uh, I, I could also open the original Japanese version using this same save file, so I could compare the, the character bios side by side, like I have been doing. But when last I checked in, there were several pages missing here, and it's it's just... It's just Gates, Edvard, Horace, Frida, and Penny. I should have known. So yeah, a bit of a disappointing note to end on, but as I said, we're not completely done just yet. So for now, I have been and will continue to be tessellating hexagons. In the next episode, we'll start our cleanup and hopefully send off the Touch Detective franchise with a bit more of a bang than... Uh, than this quiet little eek of an ending. See you next time for stuff.